Welcome to the Swine 365 newscast, January 2024. I'm your host, Tanya Eady. 2024 Swine Web Hall of Fame inductees. If you haven't already heard, in a momentous announcement, the 2024 Swine Web Hall of Fame nominees have been revealed, with Kentonbury Holden of Holden Farms, along with Ken Mashoff from the Mashoffs LLC, co-inducted into this prestigious circle. Find everything on swinehalloffame.com and stay tuned this year with interviews with both gentlemen and the unveiling of their Hall of Fame plaque. Let's get right to what's making swine headlines. Country View Family Farm invests $47 million in state-of-the-art hog feed mill in central Pennsylvania. Huge development with all the industry challenges in 2023. Expansion and growth with optimism. Prop 12 enforcement begins. Landmark crate free animal welfare law fully implemented in new year. Nyman Ranch 100% audited, compliant and ready with fresh pork supply available for existing and new customers. Triumph Foods to expand in St. Joseph, creating 88 new jobs. Endovac celebrates 40th anniversary. 40 years ago, Endovac Animal Health began as a small family-owned company. Today, the company is celebrating 40 years of providing superior science in the animal health industry throughout the nation and internationally. Listen to the Swine Trends podcast, innovative approaches to optimize pig health and feeding strategies with Dr. Eric Weaver from APC. There's another great podcast from Kansas State, effects of replacing lactose with novel carbo hydrate sources on feed intake preferences and nursery picks. Enjoy the variety of blogs on swineweb.com. Pork producer P Wanda Patchy is a regular contributor and you won't want to miss her latest. Farmers, you need to tell your story by pork producer Wanda Patchy. Our own Vic Faust sits down with the outgoing Missouri pork president, Don Nykadem. Legacy unveiled 40 years of dedication with, with Don Nykadem at the Missouri Pork Association. Smithfield Foods adapts to pork industry challenges, ends contract with 26 Utah hog farms. USDA releases map showing areas approved for its broadband connection. Check out our latest in Swineversation. In Swineversation, exploring Proposition 12 and the world of organic pork farming with Vincent Breton. This episode offers an exclusive journey into the world of organic pork production, shedding light on its nuances, challenges, and the driving force behind Breton's pork's commitment to excellence in animal welfare. Find this in Swineversation along with breaking news, interviews, and many podcasts at swineweb.com and swinetv.com. And now, names in the news. Brian Sykes, Cargill President and CEO, elected Chair of Cargill Board of Directors. Maple Leaf Foods announces new Chief Financial Officer David Smalls. Animal Science student finds new passion working at Swine Center, what started with an eagerness for a hands-on learning experience in the Department of Animal Sciences in the Texas A&M College of Agriculture and Life Sciences ended with a new passion and opportunity for Carly Rogers. Ideal Animal Nutrition grows team with focus on research. Dr. Kelsey Hammers joins as Swine Nutritionist and Research Coordinator. Celebrating 25 years, Andrea Claussen's journey with high life in the veterinary care and animal welfare world. Few individuals can boast the commitment and passion that Andrea Claussen has brought to her role as a veterinary assistant, having started her journey with high life in 1998. Find all of this at swineweb.com. Now let's get to our guest segment. Thank you for watching. Welcome back to the Swine 365 podcast guest segment. Today we have PhD candidate Dalton Obermeyer from the University of Nebraska. Welcome, Dalton. Thank you so much for having me. It's a privilege to be on here. We got two things to get to. Um, you're involved in the new track livestock monitoring system. Tell us about this. So, very briefly, uh, the new track livestock monitoring system 
uh, something developed right here at the University of Nebraska. Uh, New Track is a computer vision based form of precision livestock technology that has the capabilities to accurately identify, maintain identification, and continuously track the behaviors of individual pigs in grouped house uh, systems. And you're also working on a new publication. Give us the inside scoop, Dalton. Yeah, so with New Track, I, I had the fortunate privilege to be able to work in, in numerous different research projects. Uh, the one that I kind of headed up uh, once I got back here to the University of Nebraska to start my PhD program was kind of a pilot study that turned out uh, to be, you know, garnish some really cool results. And that is we looked using the new track system again, we looked at the activity differences between progeny sired by boars that were um, that had low intake, low growth EBVs versus boars that had high intake, high growth EBVs. Uh, and we looked at the difference of those progeny. And uh, with efficiency in mind, we found out that when compared to low intake, low growth progeny, high intake, high growth pigs traveled less around 86 meters per day spent more time lying per day, about 14 minutes per day, and have greater adipose deposition at offtets at roughly six tenths of a centimeter. And keep in mind, this is throughout both nursery and finisher stages. So once these totals get aggregated up, uh, again, the high intake, high growth pigs traveled around 11 kilometers less over uh, the entire time point uh, as like 127 days compared to low intake, low growth pigs. And then they also spent around 30 hours more line time, which is more time that they're spending on the ground, not burning as much calorie, calories, excuse me, as those low intake, low growth progeny. And that pilot study kind of led me into my dissertation work now, where we collaborate with DNA and Pill and Family Farms and have kind of exploded this uh, that pilot study up uh, and looked at it on a more intense level on the nucleus side. And that publication can be found on the animals website. Well, Dalton Obermeyer, thank you for joining.